Welcome to another episode of uh, Ozfish. Of course, welcome to the bass boat. Dave here. Let's get some. We're out pretty early today. It's a beautiful afternoon. A little bit of swell. Really, really light wind. Yeah, I'm uh, going to have a fun day today, a play day today. Um, try a few different things. I just come around the heads there and ran into some salmon under birds, you know, like right at the back of the bommie there. And um... <clears throat> Anyway, I had half a dozen casts at them with the uh, the Daiwa over there, which is a, um, a bigger profile lure, but they weren't really interested. Sometimes first cast, they're, they're all over it, but perhaps they're uh, feeding on sort of like really, really small bait today, so they weren't really interested. So uh... Anyway, gave her a crack. So yeah, I'm going to sort of like uh, do some trolling today different spots I've caught snapper and um, I'm going to do some power fishing with some plastics and try different depths inside lines and outside lines and that kind of thing and um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to throw a king shrimp on a 1 sixth yeah and I'm going to belt that out and let it waft down in the uh, in the column sinks about a second about a foot a second this sinks down and um, I'm kind of feeling like a four inch gold prawn today and I'll belt that out at the same time and uh, see what happens. Yeah, the last three trips I've had out, um, yeah, the fishing's just been mega, mega, mega tough. Um, but the secret is, you know, like, uh, just keep grinding, man, just keep coming back, just keep grinding. Um, because I'm a big believer in that, uh, you know, you get flushes of fish coming off the coast and um, it can be bad for two trips. You go out two, three days later and you run into a flush of fish, you know, like, uh, so that's what I'm hoping for today guys in the river mate they were all whinging because they caught no fish fish weren't biting and um yeah surprisingly there's very few boats out fishing which is always sort of like a really bad sign on the weekend <clears throat> the water temp 16.6 16.7 so um yeah it's up a little bit from what it's been last week what was down to about 15.9 so it may have come up about a degree um you know where i'm trolling through here is um I'm trolling between about, I'm going to zigzag between about 40 feet out to about, about 48 feet with the lures I've got out. So uh, I can see there's scattered bait on the sounder. Hope to fish, hit a, uh, a fish early in the day, see what happens. So uh, what I've got out on, uh, on this rod, I've got a, um, I've got the uh, Nomad DTX 100 out on this rod. And uh, it's out a little bit further. Uh, than this other rod and on this other rod I've got a uh, I've got a Samaki Reddick uh, 120 which is a beautiful looking lure I'm just trying to catch a really nice snapper on it you know like and uh, just to prove that they'll take snapper you know it's it's taken red rock cod sergeant baker so um, I think it's only really a matter of time and uh, what I'm going to do today is I normally never troll with two rods I've always trolled with one rod um, it just allows you to get on them big fish really quick but I'm going to start experimenting with two rods out on my own and um, it gives, gives you that double the chance of hitting a really good fish, particularly out of places like Newcastle where the fishing is just really, really, really tough. So um, if I double them lures up, more chance of taking a shot. And I'm just going to see what happens if I hit a good fish. Hopefully I'll hit one today, you never know. And um, I'll just try fighting that fish with the motor going slowly ahead. I'll just try you know, fighting that fish with, you know, the motor going ahead and maybe just kicking it in and out of gear. Anyway, I'm going to see what happens. So, hopefully I'll hit a good fish on the troll today. I'll get some on plastics on the micro jig and, um, yeah, every troller's dream. It'd be awesome to get a double hookup on, uh, on Big Snapper. It may be a little chaotic, uh, but that's what you're hoping for. Anyway, day is young. Fish will dark and I'm gonna grind. And I'm gonna see what happens. I'll get back to you. Yeah, with the two rods out trolling, what I've got is I've got a seven foot rod out this side on the left hand side of the boat, and I've got a seven foot six rod out on the right hand side of the boat. And I've got them really flattened down, like uh, on the water. And um, yeah, what I'm trying to do is like uh, just treat them like really like little mini outriggers and just get as much spread as I can uh, on those two laws and actually stagger those laws a fair bit because um, if you don't do that, yeah, they, they, they sort of move around a little bit because there's a lot of braid out and um, they can get tangled up and I 
started off with a little short rod out on the uh, right hand side of the boat but um yeah they just uh they tangled up I, I hit a fish a red rock cod ripped the hook out of his mouth and it's yeah it tangled up so yeah seven six seven oh flat mini outriggers it seems to be the go let's see what happens Okay, so I've trolled a, um, a narrower line, a shallow. So what I've done is I've trolled a um, shallower line coming down the coast between about 40 to out about 45 feet, but um, there's no fish. So I'm going to take the DTX like 100 off and I'm going to throw out this, uh, this lure here. Oh, I've hit something on the trolling rod. Kicking her in and out of gear. Oh. Little panty. goes to show you that yeah like uh, that law is not too big for him beautiful little bump on his head but yeah mate big snapper would absolutely just smash that you know so anyway that's really encouraging yeah let's let him go oh there's a way better fish Oh, here's the true test. Can I handle a big fish and two rods out? Is going to hit a big fish on that Rapala. Beautiful looking law. Well, two rods out's a bit busy, but it's doable. Got him up. Just back off a bit. tend to get a really good hook set on the uh, on the fish when you get them you know got good upgraded trebles and uh, when they go in they go in really good tell you what if I had a double hook up on a big fish like this it'd be chaos but it'd be good yeah, it's a pretty good fish. snapper on the Rapala deep tail dancer really really light colored fish I'd say he's probably big tail close to 60 let's get him on the mat let's measure him let's let him go
beautiful fish. 57. Let's get him back in the drink. Mate, once those hooks go in, mate, they go in. Swam off beautifully. Two snapper in like, man, five minutes. Stoked. Yep. Little panty. He'd be legal. Alrighty, that's three fish. Let's keep going. Well, that was a bit of a flurry of activity. On, uh, got a couple of snapper there and some uh, Sergeant Baker and that sort of thing like that. So, um, yeah, hit that bigger fish right on the turn of the tide there. So, um, yeah, maybe, uh, you know, the fish are really switching on that turn of the tide. Maybe there is something in that. And uh, all the fish that I've hit, I've been hit trolling down with the current. I'm assuming the current's running from north to south. A little bit of a nor'easter blowing today, so it's um, certainly more comfortable going down with it. So I've managed to do a great big circle and swing around without having to pull me laws in, which is kind of cool. And um, I'm just going to troll for going to troll for about 15 20 minutes to go on this way see if I can catch a fish going this way actually to see whether you know the direction that you troll and which way the current's going has any effect in relation to uh, your catch rate I'm not sure but it's certainly more uncomfortable going this way and I think when you're coming down with the swell in the nor'easter it tends to give your lures a little bit of a pulse so maybe that is actually triggering a bite from the fish you know sort of coming down on, its, uh, on those swells and that nor'easter. There could be something in that as well. Anyway, I'll get back to you. Wild ride the bass boat, man. Nor'easter blind. Just got to tack across the sea. Left and right. Jam waves, man. I like it. it. Makes you feel alive. It's a wild ride home, man. Sweet now. Got the trolling gear out. Got to troll home. <clears throat> a little tip if you're going to be a snapper troller as well is you're always watching your sounder, you know, for the depth. Because you don't want to play your lures in and the bottom undulates a little bit up and down. So I'm trying to run these lures between about 50, 46 feet out to 52 feet. But I've got the lures a fair way out off the back of the boat. So when I hit the undulations, what I'll do, if I want to get out real quick, what I'll do is I'll, yeah, if I want to get out real quick, I'll just, I'll pulse the engine. I'll just be pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Just add a little bit and then straighten up. Try to get a bit of depth so I don't plough in. Save you a few lures. 